What's up my crypto legends in this episode of the Bitcoin price are we doing a double bottom pattern and we are going to break some major resistance and go to the moon from here or are we doing a bear flag and we're going to come to lower levels we'll be discussing this in today's episode also the Ethereum price looking bearish here because it looks like we are creating a descending triangle are we going to manage to break this resistance point and continue to the upside also Litecoin guys we talked about this ascending wedge we met the target here at the 200 30 dollar levels are we going to break this major resistance also and continue to the upside or are we going to go lower we'll be discussing this today and if you are interested in trading any of these pairs guys you can trade it on prime xbt this is my favorite day trading platform if you use my link in the description and bitcoin census 50 as the promotion code you'll be getting 50 percent in addition of what you deposit my favorite platform for swing trading is bybit if you use my link guys you'll be getting the best bonus available and the bonus altcoin today guys is bitcoin cash we'll be checking out bitcoin cash looking extremely bearish forming these bearish patterns but if we break this resistance which it looks like we will we are going to come all the way to the 1200 levels again guys so make sure to stay tuned in this episode smash up the like button let's go straight into the video Hello there, Andy here, and welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Census, where you subscribe for the quickest technical analysis and news on Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, and the financial markets. I'm not a financial advisor, so I don't buy or sell anything that I say. And if you do so, do your own research. Said this, let's go straight into the charts. But if you are new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I do daily technical analysis on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Let's go straight to the video. All right, guys, now let's zoom in here for the Bitcoin price. First, let's go to the daily chart, okay? And let's get the RSI indicator because it looks like that these bearish divergences have been playing out pretty nicely here, as you can see on the chart. Okay, let me just zoom in here and we can see the bearish divergence playing out. Okay, we can see the RSI going down here, creating this resistance trend line and um, the price of Bitcoin going up, as you can see here clearly on the chart. So price going up and RSI going down and now the bearish divergence have been playing out we've had a had a major drop okay to the 51 52000 dollar range is it um, now time to reverse well as you can see here we still have some some room to drop even lower on the RSI so um, I wouldn't be surprised having a major drop all the way down to the $42,000 range um, going to this target here from this descending wedge but we might be bottoming out let's take the RSI out of the way and let's go to the one hourly chart here zooming in we can see that the the bears are losing steam right now because um, if we have this retracement okay Bulls are not coming in, no volume at all, but also the bears haven't got any strength at all. No volume at all coming to retest here, this low that we've made here when we had this major drop. So it looks like that the bears ha are losing steam at the moment and we are potentially going to create a double bottom pattern. OK, guys, this is the res major resistance that we take uh, support that we need to take a look at right now. The fifty three thousand five hundred dollar range we have um, created this nice support area and if we zoom out here on the chart you know it's been major support also here in the past so uh, is this going to hold nicely and we are uh, making a double bottom pattern and we're going to break to the uh, upside well we need to check out this resistance right over here which is the fifty seven thousand three hundred dollar range okay we've got major resistance right over here on the retracement and zooming out here on the chart it's acted as really heavy support many times we had this little fake out over here so um, now we broke below it with this huge amount of volume and it's a major resistance if we manage to get above it with a decent amount of volume it is very very likely that this is going to be a, a double bottom pattern okay remember i was talking about also this potential bump and run pattern playing out okay we need to see if we are going to break this resistance coming up and retesting this resistance point this channel okay as you can see right over here and retesting it and potentially breaking it to the upside this uh, is in between tomorrow and and uh, thursday 
we could see that this is also the $60,000 range, which is going to be really, really heavy resistance to break, okay? It's gonna take a lot of volume to break these levels. We are breaking this resistance from this downward channel. It is also, um, uh, $60,000 is a major psychological um, resistance. And um, it is also the support of this um, ascending wedge, okay? Turning it into resistance. Usually when we break a wedge, we retest and then you break right down and you continue to the downside. But if we manage to get above the $60,000 range in between um, tomorrow and Thursday, this is going to be extremely bullish, okay? Especially if we see a good amount of volume. We will be getting back above the $60,000 and this is going to be extremely bullish. But let's not get too bullish just yet. Let's take a look at the possible scenario here for the bears, okay? Which would be creating a, a bear flag right over here, a kind of bear flag, all right? So it is clear that we have major resistance here just over here at the $57,300 range and also major resistance at the $53,300, okay? So we're probably going to be bouncing around this area, okay, for the next coming hours and days. And this is obviously going to be creating a, a bear flag, okay? So this is the resistance point and this is the support level. And if you take all of this as an impulse, okay, let's say from this start over here, yeah, there's some different points as this as the pole. Let's just go with this one, okay? And if we break out, you know, in between tomorrow, uh, today and tomorrow, this could go to the $47,000 range. But if you take all of this as a, as a huge pull, if we go to the four hourly chart, for example, you know, you could potentially say that all of this is a drop from this consolidation phase, all of this a drop, and you know, this could be take us to the $47,500 area. Okay, as you can see in the chart. But let's just say that this is going to hold nicely and we are going to continue to the upside. Um, potentially, this is going to be the two scenarios that I'm looking for for the next couple of days, guys. I'll be updating you with here with the Bitcoin price. Let's take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum is looking bearish, okay? We are creating this kind of descending triangle. And here we, ha we are having a major resistance over here and we are creating this uh, descending triangle, okay? We've got this resistance point, creating this downtrend and also support around this area, which is the $2,090 levels, okay? So if we break uh, above this resistance point and, and we're potentially creating a double bottom pattern, okay? It will be super important to get above the $2,300 and um, we also may be going to create this bump and run pattern. It is too soon. Yes, I know. Um, but if we retest this resistance point and break to the upside, it is going to be uh, looking very, very bullish. Okay, we've got this double bottom. Okay, breaking this uh, resistance from this downtrend. So it will be we'll be turning bullish again once we break this resistance point, which would be around the two thousand three hundred dollar range. Okay, guys, in the next couple of days. But this is actually a bearish scenario. We are creating lower highs. Okay, as you can see right here, and we are getting supported around the two thousand ninety dollar levels. So we got these lower highs, lower highs. There is selling pressure. Okay. So usually this breaks to the downside. We are the buying pressure is not not going to hold here, and suddenly we're going to get to the end of this descending triangle, and this usually breaks to the downside. Okay, let's go with the probabilities of these patterns. But if we break resistance and continue to the upside, well, this is going to be looking very very bullish in the short term. We are supposedly in a bull market. The Bitcoin price hasn't peaked below the $65,000. There's a lot of on-chain data that is, um, you know, saying that this bull run hasn't, is not even close to the end. It's not close to the peak. This is what I got for Ethereum, guys. Um, potential scenarios breaking the $2,090 range to the downside. We could see um, support around these different levels, the $2,000, the $1,940 uh, $1, range. As you can see, I've been marking these are major support levels if we break the $2,090 levels. I'm going to think that we are creating um, like a double bottom pattern here 
and we are going to break this resistance point. I am going to remain bullish. We are in a bull market, so I think this correction might be over. Let's take a look at Litecoin. Litecoin also creating this scenario. We did talk yesterday about this um, ascending wedge. Okay, we already we were already breaking out of it, and I was talking about the two hundred and thirty dollar target. Okay, which is usually when you break out of an ascending wedge, the target is the lower part of the wedge. We met the target. Okay, same scenario here for Litecoin, like Ethereum. We are creating these lower highs, as you can see right over here, and um, we are creating like this kind of descending triangle. We're getting major support right over here. I've marked this to the very back because we also have a consolidation right over here as resistance. And um, most likely scenario, well, breaking to the downside. You know, we are create, we are getting selling pressure. That's why we're creating lower highs. We're, and, and maybe this support area around the $230 range is not going to hold and we'll have a major drop. Where's that major drop going to be? Well, first target would be $200. The measured move from this descending triangle would be um, even lower because um, if we take the top bit from the lower part, you know, from the breakout, you know, supposedly this could take us all the way down to the $140 range. But we are going to get major support from the breakout of this symmetrical triangle. Remember that we were talking about this for the last couple of weeks. So if we break down from these levels, definitely we'll be getting supported by this um, support from this uh, symmetrical triangle, potentially then continuing to the upside. Now, zooming in here on the 15 minute chart, I want to think that we are also creating a double bottom, okay? Here, so if we manage to break this resistance point and retest this um, this resistance right over here, all the way up here, this is the, a clear double bottom pattern, as you can see. We'll be also breaking the resistance from this downrise channel, like I show you with it with these arrows. Okay, and this could also be a bump and run uh, scenario. Okay, having a major drop sideways, hitting the resistance, finally breaking out before we continue to the upside. This is also a possible scenario. We'll be taking a look at this in the next coming days. Remember, guys, if you want to get the best bonus available for Prime XBT for day trading, this is my favorite platform for day trading. If you use my link in the description and Bitcoin Sensor 50, you'll be getting 50% in addition of what you deposit. You deposit $5,000, you're getting $2,500 on top of that to trade with, guys, to add to your margin. And remember, guys, if you are interested in trading and you are experienced, make sure to check out the Prime XBT trading platform. If you use my link in the description and Bitcoin Sensor 50 as promotion code, you'll be getting 50% in addition of your deposit. You deposit $5,000, you'll be getting $2,500 on top of that for your margin, guys, to trade with. And if you haven't seen my Prime XBT tutorial, I'll be leaving a video popping up on top of my head. So, guys, make sure to check that out if you're not experienced with trading. Let's take a look at Bitcoin Cash, guys. Right, Bitcoin Cash. Um, let's see the possible scenarios that could happen for Bitcoin Cash. The same thing also here for BCH, which is the, the ticker symbol. We can see that we are creating these lower highs over here. Also, this kind of descending triangle pattern. I've also been seeing this. And this could be also an inverse cup and handle. Usually it is better if we see a steady growth with um, the, the, the uptrend and the downtrend, but uh, it, it still could be valid as a cup and handle right over here, as you can see. And then we're breaking, and now we are retesting this um, support level. If we break this support level, it could get really, really ugly, okay? The measured move here from this cup and handle would be getting the lower part from the cup all the way down to the support level and from the breakout, we could potentially see the Bitcoin cash price go all the way down to the $480 uh, levels, okay? But, but I am going to remain bullish. We are in a bull trend and it looks like that we want to break out from this resistance point. We might be breaking out, okay? And potentially also creating a kind of double bottom scenario. Um, this could, I was looking at also potential um, shoulder head and shoulder pattern but the right shoulder is quite higher than the left shoulder so this is invalid in my opinion potential double bottom breaking resistance coming in retesting this second resistance right over here 
okay and then breaking if we break this resistance with a decent amount of volume guys it is time to continue up in this bull market for the bitcoin cash price um, this is what I got for you guys in today's episode. Make sure to check out the Bitcoin Center's website. We've got great tutorials, reviews on how to buy, how to store, how to trade Bitcoin. We've got the latest news and technical analysis here also. So I'll be leaving a link in the description so you can check it out. And if you haven't seen my Bybit or my Prime XBT tutorial to learn how to trade, there's a video popping up on your screen. And a massive thank you for tuning in. Make sure to smash up the like button and I'll see you in the next one. We'll